Hey guys, welcome back to Yanchi Plans. It's been a while. Um, I'm going to try to stay chipper, um, but I my voice is tired because I just recorded a video without hitting record. So I'm also going to try to keep it quick because my battery is not charged. And if I don't film it now, it's probably not going to happen. We're in the middle of a lot. Um, we are moving in the next couple of weeks to a house that we are hopefully closing on tomorrow um, as of recording. And I don't know when I'll get this edited. So this is all in the past, but um, this flip through video will bridge the gap between the last one, which I believe I filmed January or sorry, July 30th, and now which is September 17th, 2023. And I'll try to, like I said, make this quick, but also not too, um, like, brief. Um, I mention this every time, but these side tabs and plastic dividers and everything I love are from Marlene's Plan to Create. Most of these inserts are from my shop, um, <laughs> ganchiplans.com, and you can also get some of these. Uh, there's a couple in here that are from Peanuts Planner Co., um, and these acetates I printed myself from just like a free scrapbook paper and uh, overhead transparency film. So this guy here uh, shows me like my busy life and projects that are going to be taking up a lot of my time. So this is uh, like a 52 weeks future log. So the weeks run into each other or the months run into each other. Um, this and this are both the same to-do list in different formats. So this one um, lists like um, different cat times, like who's napping or whatever that will help me decide when to choose a task. This one is like priority. Um, and at different times, I felt like those were necessary for me. This insert foo 63 are things that recur. A lot of household tasks like changing sheets and toothbrushes and cleaning certain things. Those all go on here. A lot of this is sort of on hold in the middle of the move. Um, this is a cleaning chart that I made for myself I, as far back as like maybe February. No, that can't be right. Anyway, earlier this year, maybe May um, or June. But the point is I don't use it all the time. Sometimes I do. And the last time I used it, I never cut it and put it in here. Um, I just left it out on a, a clipboard in the kitchen, which actually was a little bit more helpful. Um, but basically, this is just a list of things I like to get done every day and then focus rooms. And that will all have to be refigured out. There's, It's a new new system going forward, but this is what it's been. Um, this is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I like to use this for small projects, but I haven't found a use for it since I moved into this size. I didn't mention this is a Fazjosma personal size ring planner. I got it for free. Um, so I have monthlies printed in here from May through December. Um, and as you see, I have just been using a pen and not a lot of color. Um, where in September, I have this divider here in the middle to sort of mark obviously where I need to be because I have the month, the day, and the week, all of these ones here, these top tabs in the, the left side. Um, and I like having the weekly to-do list as part of this. A lot of things go put on there and then I'm doing a pretty good job of checking this at least once a week. So we go October, November, December, and then I have the far future log, which is everything that's not in 2023. Um, which is not a lot, but like we have dentist appointments coming up, so you always need that. Um, this next section is, I guess, additional sort of future planning stuff. This is the pregnancy calendar from Insert 40, uh, the bundle, uh, pregnancy bundle on my shop. So this tells me like how many weeks along I am. Certain days it helps me plan ahead. So I know that currently, because I'm going to forget if I don't know, September 17th, I am 29 weeks today. This one's a freebie, Insert 73, I think. Maybe 74. Um, this shows you church calendar uh, holidays in the US CCB, like Catholic church holidays in the US. Um, and since it's so specific, I made it a freebie. But this will just tell me like when Easter is um, and which days of the year are holy days of obligation. So I check this once a month just and I'll add it to my calendar. Then I have birthdays and anniversaries. Then this section has some dailies. I've got a bunch of different blank dailies. Um, and then at some point, after the ones here that I have to be used, I started doing um, like rapid log dailies, like a really basic Blue Joe style. And that feels, it felt like what I needed. I needed a little bit more, um, a little less structure, a little more free form. Uh, so you can see I've got like a brain dump in the middle of this and I've got a shopping list in the middle over here. And so I've got some more blank pages in here ready to go. Hopefully we'll, that will last me through the move till I have the printer set up again. 
my daughter makes art for me. Actually, both of them do. Um, and so that's in here. We've got weeklies now. Uh, you will have already seen these. I was using this rolling weekly for a while. And then the last time I showed you this planner, I was like it's the 30th of June, or sorry, July. Um, and then I switched to this one day per, or one week per page, or one page per week, or whatever. Um, I also have a two page per week spread that's in my homeschool planner, but I try to keep that for mostly just anything school related, and this is house related. So I'm using both of them, and that's been working pretty well. I'm um, gonna see here, suddenly the color disappears. Things are just feeling like I can't even be bothered to stand up and go get a marker. I don't know if that's because I'm very pregnant or very busy and stressed or both. But I have enough printed in here, hopefully to get us through the move. Um, and then we will probably reevaluate once things feel a little bit less hectic. This tab is meal planning and I need to print more of these and I might or might not remember to, um, but I really do love this insert. It is insert 27 from my shop. Um, and it helps me just remember what I have stuff <coughs> stocked up for, um, for meals that I can make. And then this next tab is like projects, current projects. So this is um, the newspaper that I write a freelance article for once a month, the topics and when they're due. Um, this is the rundown of what our co-op day looks like for homeschool. And then insert ideas for my shop, which I have been neglecting, but there's still stuff available. Um, so these are some summer chores that I had, and so this is just still in here. I probably can take some of these things out and give myself more room on my rings. Um, this top tab is supposed to mark the current project, which right now is the move. Um, I've been highlighting things as they get done, or I don't have to worry about them anymore. Um, so it's like the opposite of a highlighter. If it's highlighted, I know I don't have to work or worry about it. So I actually have to go through and do that again, because um, there's some of these that I think are taken care of. But um, and then, yeah, it's just it's a lot of messy notes, but having it written down really helps. Uh, this was sort of a, a, it was supposed to be sort of a schedule of when I could pack anything without it making up, like being a problem. Um, but I've found that just sort of doing it by the seat of my pants and just trying to average at least one or two boxes a day has been going well. Um, then the last tab here, I say the last tab because this one is just extra pages, but this one here is for my daughter's birthday party, my three-year-old. She just turned three. I, obviously, her birthday was yesterday. Um, so I was planning that party and really, really fighting to keep some focus on this, even though everything else, everything in me just wants to be like worrying about packing and escrow and all of that. Um, but it turned out really good. The decorations were cute. People had, showed up, had a good time. Um, so that's, yeah, the theme was hedgehog cheetah because she's three and that was what she wanted. It was very cute. Um, and then I have a kick count uh, page in here. I thought it would be quick and easy to find because things that are at the back of a section are also easier to find with a tab. Um, but I haven't actually sat down and done it formally, but I should because I'm 29 weeks now, as you saw. Um, third trimester they want you to start seeing how long it takes you to get 10 kicks um so I need to start actually doing that instead of just winging it and going yeah baby's moving I felt a move today and then like I said I just have extra pages in here sticky notes and mostly nothing generic I generally like to have more like grid pages and line pages and stuff in the back but I have those in with the dailies so if I really need something I, I have some pages in there and then back here I have like some page flags a spare check, um, a nail file. Always important for me to have a nail file handy. And that's basically what we've got. There's a lot of, I don't even know what this is. Things get tucked in pockets. It is not cute. Um, but you know what? Not everything's cute in life. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was less, uh, less wordy than the first time around because I'm afraid that the nine minutes uh, battery indicator up here, it might actually not be quite that much. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up. Um, thank you guys for staying subscribed. I hope that you don't mind the sporadicness of my uploads. I still wanna try to keep you updated. Um, by the time I get this video edited and uploaded, we will probably be through with the bulk of the move uh, cause I'm not gonna prioritize this video, but 
I did want to get it filmed before I, you know, pack up the set and everything. Um, so I hope you guys are doing great and I will definitely come back soon ish to, uh, to update you on how all of that went. Wish us luck. And I will see you guys in the next video whenever that happens to be. Have a productive day. Bye. Thank you.